My name is Roman Lodin and I am the, the booth manager of ST at the Embedded World. Uh, it's a great pleasure to tell you a few things about uh, the main blocks uh, of our presence at the Embedded World. So ST is doing lots of stuff in the Embedded World, right? Absolutely. So this year we expanded our presence. Uh, in fact, we have two areas. One, one, one is the STM32 fan zone in which uh, we try to bring all the makers, engineers together. So here we are hosting a lot of companies, uh, students, makers, uh, uh, partners that are working with our products. And on the other side, on the ST booth, uh, we are showing all the new cool products and solutions from ST. And here I think uh, one of the key products is STM32 L4. And it's a great pleasure to have Bertrand with us. Hi, so who are you? Yeah, I'm Bertrand Denis, product marketing for STM32 L4. So we introduce... Uh, Let's walk towards the wall you have over there. But you're showing it right here, right? Yeah, so it's a, it's a discovery kit of a new uh, member of stm 4 So in fact, it's a smart watch demo. So it's stacking uh, uh, a discovery kit with uh, Bluetooth Flow Energy and uh, uh, MEMS uh, Shield. And in fact, uh, well, it shows up uh, thanks to uh, the ProMart, so uh, ac uh, graphic acceleration we can have a very effective demo, so both showing performance in terms of uh, uh, graphics acceleration. Let's stand over here one second. Uh, oh, sorry. So, uh, is it's an it's an ARM Cortex M4? Yeah, it's a, an ARM Cortex M4, uh, and it's a really uh, excellent in terms of power consumption. Plus, it provides a, a very good. Uh, uh, acceleration, etc. So, this new member now has uh, up to 320 kilobytes of SRAM, one megabyte of flash, and new features: a camera interface, double can, SHA, etc. So, uh, it's uh, ultra low. It's a, yeah, it's a ultra low power, so best in class in terms of power consumption. It's enabled for the customer to make amazing product product in the IoT for uh, wearables. You have some demos already? Yeah, yeah. So it's basically, five it's uh, providing mm -hmm. more, uh, for the, for the more, the more things here. So you can see, yeah. for example, on the speaker. Yeah, it so you can uh, you can run a kind of a Check. small game. So there's cheap graphics. Yeah. How do you do the graphics? So the graphics, in fact, is all everything is handled by the chip. So uh, it's directly connected to uh, to the LCD. It's not GPU, right? No, no, it's not. Uh, it's not GPU. It's really of uh, the uh, Cortex M4, so with this ultra low power product, which can handle this. So, thanks to this, uh, it gives possibility to customer to to design great product, and especially with a very long uh, battery lifetime. And uh, Here's a and uh, on top of this, also we we announced Let's check uh, in the reference the manual, new STM32 yeah, IoT bigger, discovery board. Yeah. Uh, so in fact, it's uh, with STM32 L4 as well, but with a Wi-Fi module, Bluetooth, and subjugates. It also have NFC yeah. so and what will all the sensors, so including uh, proximity yeah. sensors, yeah. microphone, yeah. magnetometers, 3D accelerometer, 3D gyroscope, all the sensors from ST. And uh, you can connect to Amazon, IBM, okay. or Microsoft. So case, and so you can use this small board to do amazing things. Is this something quickly. that people have not been able to do with Cortex M4 before? Yeah, what, 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 yeah, what, yeah, what is really unique is, again, regarding power consumption. All of this, which uh, generally you can, uh, you can have this kind of, uh, of product using uh, MPU uh, and with yes. this okay. you can you can run some very nice things then, uh, just with very efficient in terms of power consumption. Cool. All right, and uh, let me check some more that you have right here uh, at the booth. Hello. So who are you? Hi, I'm uh, Renaud Buzero. I'm in charge of uh, product marketing for high performance STM32 devices. Is it over there? Um, actually, we can do a quick tour. Yeah, we can start here. Okay, so here we are looking at the entry uh, of high performance devices. These are Cortex M4 based devices. You have a device that are uh, offering uh, 100 megahertz uh, performance. With this level of performance, you can already do crazy stuff like uh, voice recognition. You can say uh, words, they are going to be re recognized. 
You can do some audio processing from the microphone mouse. So this means that you can do beamforming, for instance, to uh, just uh, remove the noise from people uh, talking next to you. So the sound can be directed to you. This way, you can then do a clean voice recognition inside the microcontroller and microphone entirely. microphone array? Yes, so this is, you have five microphones here, and you can do beamforming in many directions, uh, with also uh, like um, echo cancellation, for instance. So this is potentially the best uh, smart speaker solution, right? You want to do voice yes. assistant? Yes, I, I'll jump. After all this uh, voice recognition, which is done inside the micro, we can jump to Amazon uh, voice services. So here we have uh, a Cortex-M7 device running at 216 megahertz inside our STM32 F7 series. Inside this, uh, this product, we are able to run Amazon Voice services. Is Alexa and Ale using Alexa. the API and everything? Yes. So uh, we are running the HTTP 2.0 inside uh, the microcontroller in an optimized way for our microcontrollers. Here we have our other STM32 F7 devices, demonstrating here a nice high-speed integrated uh, interface. So the, the high-speed file has been integrated, so this is very good for fast data uh, transfers. And here, that's a very great technology. This is face re recognition. So we are able to uh, recognize within 150 milliseconds a face and give a, and grant access, for instance, to uh, people. How can you do that? In, uh Cortex M7, it has that kind of performance? Yes, we are actually offering a 216 megahertz from Flash with a lot of resources integrated. And the partner uh, that we are working with is uh, called TerraProbe and has optimized our software for Microsoft. We, we move up in performance here. We have a lot of people who need to learn it. So here we have the highest performing Cortex M based product in the world. STM32 H7. So this is 440 nanometer process running at 400 megahertz. Cortex M7. So we are over 2000 core mark performance from Flash. This type of devices is boosting the performance, boosting the resources, new connectivity like uh, CanFD, for instance. And we also invested in security. So this product on is on our system. Uh, uh, very important security yeah. challenges in IoT. For instance, this product comes with uh, public and private keys inside the microcontrollers. These can be used to sign and encrypt a software. So an OEM can deliver an encrypted software to an EMS, and this software will be protected and decrypted inside the microcontroller. And we are working with Sega to, for instance, demonstrate here the programming and the counting to avoid cloning of the device. Uh, in the field. So security is one of the big challenges for the entire world. And here you have a solution. And it's hardware encryption. It's hardware solution. Yes. Secure element. And not secure element, but internal cryptography and provisioning of the keys. Last but, but, not, but not least, with all these uh, uh, capabilities, just a wall of kits with graphic capabilities, with our partners, yeah. Sager, with, right with yeah. ST, EMWIN, embedded with art and uh, touch graphic solutions, optimized for my data. And the, the two how easy the, the, the can the guys to achieve great the, graphic uh, in embedded uh, devices, whether it's a coffee machine, a thermostat, a control panel, an alarm system, uh, or an embedded device, wearable. So the uh, ST world, that embedded world, the ST world is pretty big, right? You have a whole fan zone. Can we maybe introduce the guy over there? He was, uh, you can maybe... Who? Uh -huh. Sorry? Yeah, there was one guy, he can show us the fan zone. Oh, yes, where is uh, Roman? Yeah. Uh, let's find the, the fan zone guy, is over there. Hey, excuse me? Yes, guys, hey. guys we, are, we are live here. Uh, uh, Roman, uh, Thomas, to introduce uh, the fan zone. Hey, yes. Can I jump in here? Yes, we are live. Yeah. Oh, you're live. Okay. Yeah, but we are so in the middle of something, so. Okay. Oh, wh where are you streaming this? Okay. Right here. We are preparing the launch of uh, 10 hours. We will perform at the SE forum. Oh. 10 so hours is the the Arduino lady. Oh, sorry, Arduino lady. Yeah. yeah. I've seen her at a trade show before. So she's gonna be interviewed. Is she's her? going to make a presentation she's make a here. Speech, she's uh, going she to will talk about going... Arduino and STM32 because we are moving STM32 to Arduino world step by step uh, because the Arduino community is huge and we have a huge community around STM32. So Ardu now we bring Arduino this. Arduino is powered by ST, right? I, uh, Mostly. 
Well, okay, basically we are entering the Arduino world now with our boards and with the support of Star Auto Board. And Tanya will talk about it right now for our visitors. Is there any chance you can show me around some of the fan zone stuff that you have here? Let us announce Tanya first okay. and then I'll show you all the cool things we have around. Okay, let's check. She was walking around here. We had the uh, Nucleo on it with uh, inflex here, but he hasn't responded. And walking over here, some of these things. Cool, let's go over here. So it's just about to happen. That's a lot of boards. And a bunch of guys here. Hey, what are you, what are you doing here? Are you getting a developing board? Yes. That's for you, for cool. the party. What are you going to do with it? Nice. We don't, you're not allowed to say it. Okay, Sorry. you're going to develop some stuff. Okay, cool. Thanks. That's going to be cool. So people are queuing up for some free boards. Ooh, that's a lot of... High number is two billion. Thank you very much. Yes. That's too many. In here. Okay. See if uh, they are ready to transition. Good afternoon, Nuremberg. We are here at the STM32 forum. How are you today? Day. We are very hot, very excited, and uh, we are going to introduce our super new uh, uh, guest that already performed yesterday brilliantly. Uh, Tenaya Earth from uh, Arduino is going to play our song and tell us about uh, Arduino board and ST. That's what I'm doing. Hey, Tenaya. It's uh, all right, ST fan zone. If you can hear the volume of my voice. That means you know I'm from California, from Silicon Valley. So in Silicon Valley, s children still need to learn about Arduino. They still need to learn about technology. And I'm wearing one of my prototypes now, and we'll get some other fun technology going on as I perform a song for you. So you might know some of the words in the lyrics because it's a technical song, but this is one of the ways I help inspire kids to get into electronics. So let's start it off. Oh, we can make it louder if you want. It's my music video. Waking up, what to make, how can we innovate a better modern city? Think IoT, you know me, writing tweets, hope my view is new and witty. Teach the class, spread the word, I'm a nerd, we can form a whole nerd committee. We code disconnect that hack, yeah. All my girls code and still look pretty. This thread is steel. It's stainless steel. This thread is steel. So it head to heel. This is how we make, yeah, solder and melting it, stuff resistant in the PCB. This is how we make. Make, 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 make. Yeah, this lady, this girl is crazy, yeah. So, uh, what's going on at the fan zone? Yeah, so you see, we have a lot of uh, nice uh, uh, presenters and shows over here. But on top, the whole day, every day, every day, every hour, we have a different partner speaking about their solutions linked to ST technology. But not only talking in the forum, but we have a lot of them hosting them directly in the fan zone. So as I said in the beginning, the fan zone is bringing a concept of meeting and providing a place where the community around STM32 is meeting. So for example, here we have a couple of nice projects from students. There's a Simon. Simon from Polytechnic of uh, Torino, uh, guys from Belgium. You see, they made a Game Boy emulator running on STM. Hey, did you make this? Yeah. Does it work? Yeah, it works. And you can run an emulator on the STM32. 
Is it better than the original uh, uh, Game Boy? I'm not gonna say that it's maybe better, but uh, it's still a lot of fun because you can use a, a screen. You can also use uh, a game icon or a game pad right here. Yeah. So. The important thing is it's running on the STM32 F7. So basically, imagine this is a general purpose microcontroller running uh, cool retro things like Game Boy. Cool, how long did it take you to do this? Uh, I think two weeks, three weeks two programming. Weeks? Yeah. Hey, what did you do in two or three months? I have no idea. <laughs> Hello, yeah, I've created uh, the panel and the user interface to create something on the panel. Yeah, it's also created in like two or three weeks, so it's because ST provides a very good environment to set up projects real quick. It's like Cuper Mix and some free IDEs. Is maybe. that your name, Thomas? Yes, Thomas is also my name. It's your logo. This is not my logo, this is the logo of our school, so yeah, it's... Ah, okay. it's you only go to that school because you're Thomas, right? Yeah, indeed, yeah. yeah. Normally uh -huh. there are more Thomases, but yeah. But uh, <laughs> this, is, this looks beautiful. Can I buy this? Well, yeah, not at the moment, but um, maybe maybe in some time. Give your, so, yeah. give your, con give your contact information and we will contact you uh, about uh, selling the table. You might be able to do a lot of money in the future with cool ideas, right? Yeah. And sell them? Yeah. Is that what you want to do? Well, yeah, we, we, we want to create our own stuff, actually. And the, the nice thing about ST is that the chips are... You can pay them as a student, you can pay the boats as a student, so you can learn to work with everything that SC provides. With other microcontrollers, it's some, sometimes not that easy or not that simple or not the same. It's not so, so expensive, right? No, it's actually not expensive. The board itself with, uh, with touchscreen, LCD, with U USB, uh, Ethernet, it's like 50 euros, so it's very cheap. 50 for, euros? Yes, yeah, it's, it's nothing for what you can do with it. Like the Game Boy emulator, the first version was made on the, sa on the same board, like the, the, the draw thing. So yeah, you can do everything you imagine, I think, with those boards. It's very nice. nice. Do you see some cool stuff over there? Yeah, the, the cool stuff is everywhere on ST. Like, here's something with motion control someone made, so yeah, indeed. Let's do more of the tour. Oh, yes, thank you, Thomas. Very good speech. Thanks cool. a lot. Good job. You're welcome. Awesome. So, as I said, you know, we are hosting here partners, makers, and one of the partners is Sius, uh, uh, and I have a black boy with me. So, yes. Michael, can you say us a little bit? Uh, yes, we are very happy to cooperate together with STM in order to have our products uh, powered with the best CPU. Where do you show it? Yes, it's over there. Let's go. Yes. Uh, so let's what is your company? See. It's Sibus. We are actually a Swedish company with... Sibus. So right here. You can see here... Are you doing stuff with this? Yes. The idea is to use all the STM devices in order to uh, in our designs. So it's for uh, the shopping it's, cart? This is a shopping cart, it is a helper, because the idea is uh, whenever you go through the shopping centers and you would like to understand what are the details about the product that you have to buy, and then what you do is just take the item out on the shelf, approach it to the device, and then you can get the details what it is, what is the cost, and if you are happy with the offering, then you just put it in your is it, uh, is it using uh, barcodes or...? It's uh, using NFCs in order to share information within the device. This is possible. Cool. Yes. And here we are using STM development boards in order to show how can be utilized in such a device. The same de development board we then use in other areas. For example, we have here a gaming platform. And the same one can be used also for monitoring the room. So here we are monitoring temperature and humidity. Cool, there's a lot of cool stuff around here. Yes, of course, it is an excellent show in which we can... Ah, they can say a little bit more about their products. It's all... Let's go around here. Okay, perfect. Can, can we go around some more? Yes, uh, so, uh, okay, let's continue. Thank you, Blagoy. So, <clears throat> so, we have students, startups, we have partners, uh, and one of the companies developing uh, with uh, ST technology is also Bixi. Uh, now, I like to pair up students. 
So Vijay, uh, are you filming? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, so myself, Vijay Narayanan, and uh, I'm the CEO of Women's Labs. So here we have... Uh, is it a heads-up display? Yeah. So, so how does it going to work? So this is uh, the gesture recognition device. So the thing is what? The recognition? Gesture control device. Just this one? Yeah. So what's inside? So this is uh, having most of the FT components, from microcontroller to Bluetooth to sensors. Battery? This battery is one of our wearables? Yeah, it's a rechargeable one. So okay. it lasts for a month and uh, for a month you need to charge. Oh, and then in the car you do yeah. gestures? Exactly. So if I want to call someone, uh, for example. So really pad has temperature sensors, RGBs, and all kinds of other uh, light sensors. sensors. So the magical third class would be so I can switch profiles program. and I can just make Prototype. a casual gesture when so I started the call. So it's going to the call is going so, so I can preset uh, for phones, phone calls to preset SMS. Then I can control any music application. So if you look at the uh, so take a music as an example. Uh, what kind of sensors are there in there to do this? So like small cameras or no, they're all, so uh, time of flight sensors. Lots of people who come into the classroom. Time of light sensors. Yeah. So so that's the best way to do the gesture. Uh, yeah, at least for now. <laughs> yeah. So as you can see that, you know, I can uh, switch on and off the play, the play pause. So and the uh, next song. Nice. You do the audio. Um, is that safer in traffic? I don't know if you can see my you sell this? Yeah, so you can buy it on last, uh, it's uh, $80. $80. Many people buy it already? Yeah, we did a ca Kickstarter campaign and till now I think we have close to $2,000. Uh, and people are happy? Yeah, this is the initial reaction that we are getting is pretty good. We are, they are actually giving us more uh, suggestions on new use cases. What do you want to do? What do you want? For example, there was uh, one guy who was uh, disabled and he was yeah, he ended up using Vixie so regularly that he said that even when I'm eating I, it's near me and uh, I'm doing some gestures so it accidentally so we made a pause gesture for him so that he could pause it while, while he's eating and then there was another person who wanted to control the Waze application because it's a very distracting app when you have to click multiple times to report an incident so you wanted to shortcut it with one gesture so we are getting a lot of fantastic ideas like that Uber How drivers need a yeah exactly take the next customer you have to be the first one. <laughs> take or reject <laughs> yeah, take or reject cool thanks a lot thank you Jay thanks. so let's continue in our tour yeah well one of the next solution that we are hosting here is uh, XPAD XPAD guys they came all over from Australia to Nuremberg to be hosted on our fan zone. And I let uh, our colleague to introduce like a little bit the solution now. Thank you. Hello, who, who are you? So, so I'm Marty Despain. I'm the uh, managing director for XPED. You can tell by my accent I'm not Australian. But uh, our team is located in uh, Adelaide, Australia. And we are a IoT infrastructure so, platform. You all probably okay. know Can I put you on hold one second? I gotta grab my engineer real quick. No hey. So I got this right here. All these things are there with the infrastructure. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, and what we have is an IoT platform that is software-based, and we've been using the ST microcontrollers as part of the solution set. In fact, we've got ST microcontrollers, sensors, and uh, uh, basically the full gamut of what ST has to offer. Demo here, it's, it needs to be connected, and there's all kinds of stuff happening, right? Yeah, so in this demo, what we're really trying to show is you can have an existing technology. So let me show you, for instance. You know, you press this, and it unlocks. Or you press these buttons and it lights. Like Press this button it is, and, ooh, and it goes up and down. So right? That's an existing system in a building today. Now most people look at it and say, okay, I have to tear it all out before I can move forward with IoT. And what we're saying is, no, you don't do that. What we do is you take sensors that are built around the ST microcontrollers with traditional two-wire outputs, and you can take those sensors, and now all of a sudden you have an IoT solution that's integrated with your existing solution. 
all his middle boards are works. five volts, but the Star Oto with all his so you don't need to change stuff. is three points. But you're going to have to add a few things and maybe yes, make some minor cool. modifications, and but not major changes. Are you already changes. shipping this in mass so volume? So we're not shipping in mass volume. So our first our project is going to be installed this month. Where? Uh, it's in Australia. Okay, it ha happens so to be in a healthcare center uh, in Australia. So we're taking their existing architecture that was there and we're adding uh, 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 TPT. Sure. Can we show them the, uh, the, the box right there? Yeah. So what, what's this? So this just happens to be the, the, uh, the sensor board that we have. Uh, yeah. Okay. And so as I said, by adding this sensor here, you now have the capabilities of controlling it remotely from your phone and so forth. Okay? And not only can you control it, but you're also getting the output so that you can understand the state. So when it's going up, you see the green light goes on. Even when, even when I'm hitting up here, the green light will still go on. So it understands the state of the entire system. Okay? Because they've already had Moving all these back, you can also add additional sensors. Like in this case, this happens to be battery powered. So you want to be able to track the, the state of the battery. You want to be able to track the current and how, well, you know, so you're making sure that the battery's not going to run out. So these are all of the type of things that you can add to a system to make it IoT compatible without having to tear out the entire system. This is what everybody's talking about IoT and you provide a solution That's right. So you get to create. ST is the center of that firm for the actual hardware solutions that we yeah. The Lovo meter, my favorite project. Uh, uh, can, can we walk over there to the... So, one, more, one more here, yeah. 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 because, because just to complement... Maybe we will wait for Julia. You can also do some we'll other videos later. before. Okay, and, we come yeah. later. Okay, cool. okay perfect. Yeah, so go around, go around there. All those parts are, we've helped you breadboard. We've helped you learn all the different features in the software. So each lesson has you know, just different, like... So what's on the wall over there? Yeah. So look, uh, now we have seen ca some cool projects of students, of our makers, but how they can develop their projects. Yeah. It's not only about the product itself, but they have to do it seamlessly in a quick and efficient way. To support them in this activity, we have a lot of boards. So people can buy those? Yes, so first of all, people can get them here during the show because we are distributing every year more than 5,000 boards. People can pre-register before the show, then they come with the voucher and they exchange the voucher for the kit. Yeah. Of course, there are so many boards, we cannot distribute every board like this. So for the remaining, they can buy them in our STM32 fan shop. Because if we are in the fan zone, and the fans, they want to, like, want to buy and to get some goodies and uh, things to develop. So there's lots of different ways to develop. Exactly, so this is the platform with nuclear boards, expansion boards, yeah. which uh, can allow every engineer, every uh, geek, uh, every maker to make a very quick prototype of his board. So imagine you take a board with a micro as a base one, and then you build it uh, adding uh, blue energy for Bluetooth connectivity. You can add uh, sensors uh, to, to detect the humidity, movements, and so on. So this way, customers and people can develop prototypes uh, or evaluate uh, our products in a very fast and efficient way. People writing a testimony. So I tell you, we are on the fan zone, so we are welcoming all our fans. And we give them the opportunity to make a testimony why they like our products, especially why they like STM32. By doing that, they will get a cool t-shirt like I have, with a nice text on the back. Nice. So if you know C coding, you know what it means. Yeah. And um, if they do the testimony, they get a t-shirt, and after making a photo in the t-shirt, they post it on the social media, they could win a DJI Phantom Free Drone, which is full of SD components inside. What SD components are inside DJI? Uh, so we have seven STM32s inside the DJI. Oh, seven. seven, yes. Uh, some of them are for the motor control, you know, so you have four yeah. propellers. Uh, there is one which is the main device, uh, the brain of the complete unit. Uh, so there are really maybe seven power, of them. connectivity, all kinds of maybe yes, things. Yes, all these functionalities are driven inside the drone by STM32. Cool.